As I mentioned, for all of the resonators, you're applying the electric field in the three direction, and you're getting polarization in the three direction. Therefore, for every case, it's corresponding to the um, uh, permittivity, 3, 3, on your constant stress. And if you measure lower than much lower than the resonant frequency, you are actually getting this value, uh, which <coughs> is determined uh, by your capacitance. So if you measure the impedance at 1 kilohertz, the piezo is behaving like a capacitor. Uh, using this equation uh, right here, you can calculate the capacitance of the material. After which, you can calculate the relative permittivity assuming a parallel plate capacitor. So following these equations, you can calculate the relative permittivity, which should be between, between 1,000 and maybe 3,000. The next step is to calculate the, uh, loss, the losses occurring uh, from the piezoelectric material behaving as a, a capacitor. So what you do is, ideally, a, piezo, a, a capacitor will have a 90 degrees phase, which means all of its impedance is, neg is negative. And if all of its impedance is negative, then it has no, uh, I mean, sorry, all of its impedance is imaginary. And if all of the impedance is imaginary, you have no losses, because losses uh, correspond to the uh, ZR, or the real, imp real impedance. But oftentimes, we find less than negative 90 phase. We may find negative 89 or something else. So basically, the way you calculate the loss is by this phase value. So 90 degrees minus whatever phase value you got, which is, let's say it's 89 degrees, you'll get a 1 degree. You take this 1 degree, you convert it to radians. The way to do that <coughs> is you multiply by pi radians divided by 180 degrees. And that'll equal some number. I think it's going to be like 0 .00, 0 0.02. So what you would say is your tangent delta, for this case, is going to be equal to 0 0.002. And this is the tangent delta in the 3, 3 direction uh, measured for uh, any of these type of samples, uh, KP mode, K33, uh, K31. But you would still be getting your tangent delta, which is your uh, dielectric loss, in your thickness direction for uh, thickness applied field and thickness developed polarization.